you could instantly recognize this as being spinal cord. Uh, I will instantly tell you the name of the disease. It's called subacute combined degeneration of pernicious anemia, and pretty soon we'll know why. I think you could recognize that this is the ventral part of the spinal cord and that this is the dorsal and that the general area here forming the H is mostly uh, gray matter and the white matter is the blacker areas uh, between inside and outside of the H. Here's the H. This is gray matter, chiefly neurons. This black area and this area, which is white as well, is a myelinated area. So these are uh, tracks, either ascending or descending of uh, various names. Um, this black area is supposed to stain myelin very nicely. This is not a HNE stain. This is a myelin stain. So it, it's the entire uh, ascending and descending tracks, because they're chiefly myelinated, are supposed to look like this and they're supposed to look like this. But you'll notice wide zones in the cortical spinal tracts laterally and in the uh, posterior columns as well. And also here in the uh, ventral or anterior cortical spinal tract that there are large areas of demyelination. This is a demyelinating disease and it should be entirely black everywhere you see white area because these are uh, myelinated fibers. They should be black, but they've lost their myelin. And um, this is would be a severe uh, case of pernicious anemia, longstanding due to vitamin B12 deficiency. And the reason why it's called combined is because it affects both uh, ascending tracts, which of course, you have predominantly in the posterior columns, including the vibratory sense, as well as the descending tracts, these cortical spinal uh, tracts as well, and here posteriorly as well. So all of the area here, which is not black anymore, is not black because it's lost its myelin, and it lost its myelin because of longstanding uh, vitamin B12 deficiency. And that's why the neurologists carry tuning forks in their little black bags, in case you've ever wondered, is because one of the earliest uh, senses to suffer is the vibratory sense carried here in the uh, posterior column. And with this area being damaged, uh, one thing that might be present is loss of your vibratory sense. And thank you very much.